Hi friends, in this video we will see question number 62 from ISRO May 2017 question paper. Please hit the subscribe button below this video and hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from our channel. So question number 62 is what will be the output of the following C code and this is the C code and the options are A, B, C and D. So friends now we will see explanation to this question. Following is the C code for which we need to calculate the output. In this C code, this is the main function. Inside the main function, we are having int i, we have declared int i and after that we are having a for loop. Inside the for loop, we had again declared value of i that is int i is equal to 10. This is a declaration and initialization condition. So friends, what we need to notice is we have two declarations for i that is int i here and int i here. So we had concluded that this one is the scope for outer i which means this value of i is available for this entire space and this one is the value of this i means this is the scope for this i and this will be available inside the for loop only. So now we will see how this for loop will work. So for this we had taken this representation and we will see the value of i throughout this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 means 5 iterations what will be the value of i which this loop is going to print here at this condition. So for i is equal to 0 for this iteration we came inside the loop int i is equal to 0 which means we had created a space and declared value of i as i is equal to 0 and then we came to this printf statement. In this printf statement we have printed the value of i. So now we know that for this value of i the program will look for the local variable or the value which is available to the scope and to this scope this is the value which is available. So here it's going to print 10. So now we have at this place 10 and after that the value this i is incremented. So this 10 will become 11 and then we reach here. At this point we need to increment the value of i. So this i this for loop will take from where? Inside? No. This i is not having a scope to this value. So here we will reach out to this value of i and this value of i is having value 0. So now we increment this value of i to 1 and after that we check this condition that is 1 is less than 5. It results in true. So after getting a true result we came again inside the for loop. Inside the for loop we had again initialized and declared value of i as i equal to 0. So in the next statement what we have for the value of i that is 10. So again this printf will going to print value of i as 10 and then it's going to increment the value of i that is this one to 11 and again when we reach in for loop this point it will check for the value of i and it will find the value of i from here. It's not going to take the inside value of i. So previously the value of i was 1. So it will increment and make it 2 and then check the condition. The condition is 2 less than 5 which is true. Then again it came inside the for loop and repeat the process again and again for second, third and fourth. So for the entire iteration it's going to initialize and declare value of i as 10. As this value of i is declared and initialized before this printf statements, always whenever this loop is going to execute, it's going to print value of i as 10 only. So friends, as we have explained, answer to this question is option B. That is, it's going to print 10 for 5 times because this loop is going to execute for 
five times that is from zero to four so answer to this question is option b so friends thanks for watching our video please like subscribe our channel and share our videos to appreciate our work if you have any doubt or question please comment below and keep watching our channel for videos like this